Hey guys, welcome back to more Dragon Ball Super English Dub Reaction. So episode 131, the last episode of the series. I am sad AF. I am hoping for a sequel sometime in the near future, please. Because I need my super fix. Um, but until then, like we said before, we're going to do Dragon Ball Heroes mm -hmm. to fill the hole in fill our hearts. Void. Yeah. yeah. Last episode, uh, Goku kind of Goku's body gave out because mm -hmm. of all that um, divine strain on it because of the mastered Ultra Instinct. Mm -hmm. uh, his body uh, reached its limit and it gave out, and he's back to base form. Luckily, though, obviously we Frieza, got Frieza and, 17 and Seventeen are still in it, and they saved his ass. So I'm excited to see what that's all about. But yeah. before we get started, we just got some patrons to shout out. So shout out to Chris and Mario Aguilar, who are the newest members of our Patreon family. So welcome, and we hope you guys enjoy all that Patreon has to offer. And with that being said, let's get on with Dragon Ball Super. So how is Universe 7 gonna get the W here? Is it gonna be time? You know? Yeah, because there's still three. Versus one. Versus one, you know? And as long as neither of them get eliminated. I don't sense that stunning power from you anymore. Seems to me you've lost your edge. This is what they want. Ooh. Goku tired him out. How well can they hold up now, though? That's the question. No, because Jiren is still Jiren. It's as though I can hear the screaming in your tortured and wounded soul. This is I what Frieza does best. We can help Talk. Once again. Mm -hmm. He's getting into Jiren's head. Oh, oh. damn! Oh. Literal punching bag! Wanna bet? Ooh, oh, he contained that shit. But that hit him hard too, though. Dude, this is when the boss's HP is in red. Mm -hmm. And you gotta capitalize on it. They got him. They really did it. Yeah, red HP. It's also that, like, one bar that just doesn't want to die. Because if I failed, I knew you'd be here to do the rest. Now go finish the job. Hmm. I've earned the trust of a robot. <laughs> I get so lucky. <laughs> you no longer have the nerve to look at me, do you? What a shame. Dude, I wouldn't underestimate him just yet. Oh no, dude. Don't get too comfortable. I know. This is all too easy right now. It really what are you is. Doing, Jin? Is this honestly the way that you want your fight to end? Get up! Come on! Oh, now he needs a pep talk. Give him a pep talk. Honing your strength, rejecting everything and everyone else just to surrender for the sake of your own pride. Keep I love how Frieza's letting him listen right? to this. Like, Frieza could just shoot him right now and we'd be good. Uh-oh. Oh, shit! He's got more gas left! Yeah, and it's, it's his... It's his fire form. form. Yo, Goku, get the fuck up, bitch. No, 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 no. What's this? Ultra Instinct? He's back, Ultra Instinct? Oh, no. But I got this. Goku, once again you have returned, and once again you will fall! Dude, I love the song, the background music. Mm -hmm. You do remember your promise, don't you, Goku? To bring me back to life? Come on, Freeza. <laughs> Will you keep your word? I'll vote you. Yeah, because that's Goku. I'll hold up mine. There you, you go. You know that better than anyone, don't you? Wait, so that's the wish they'll use? They won't bring back everyone else? But can't he just use the regular Dragon Balls for that? Damn, look at this Freeza Goku tag team. Right? Never I would have thought. Yeah. Tag team with his nemesis. Oh, look at that. Don't forget about 17, bitch. This is pretty. Yeah. E. 
He doesn't have a problem throwing Frieza. <laughs> Dude, this is insane because they're all fighting at base form. Mm -hmm. Like whatever they have left. Wait, he's what? Wait, what? what? Is this really how it's gonna go? There's so nah, no, I don't think so. Freeze is holding on for dear oh, life. Oh, a little bit, a little bit of Super Saiyan left. A little it's bit. It's going in and oh, out. It's so cool. Come on, you guys got this. The power yeah. of Toriyama. Dude, that's awesome. I really enjoyed the Super Saiyan in and out because mm -hmm. it's Goku like trying to dig deep, you know? Use a little bit of gas left. Oh, what? Oh, wait, he's oh. down too. He's out too. 17. 17. Way to go. Yo! I know we just barely finished the battle of our lives, but I'm already hungry for the next fight. Uh, Bro, you're always hungry. You don't want to hear this. Three, a Slifer. Slifer the Sky Dragon's back. All of the universes that have been... I knew it. You see? I want to bring them back. <laughs> you see? So obvious, dude. But what about Frieza? They can use the regular Dragon Balls, can't they? Was it Frieza brought back already by the Dragon Balls? Earth Balls? There they go. See? There's no way Toriyama is going to drop every single one of these characters. Exactly. Let's go train and reach Super Saiyan 3! Wait! Cute. Go soon. Mm -hmm. And Universe 2. Universe 9, nine right? Tree of Danger. I say we should see them again. And the next time yes. we'll win. Come on, a sequel, bitch. Show me the sequel. If staying here means watching you knit with this tail get cut? I think, I think so. I'd rather be tortured by singing fairies. Considering how you've helped, maybe I should give you your happy ending too. Oh, he's the oh. one who's gonna bring him back? Oh, oh shit! And his tail's back. So no, see, hey, I told you it can't be the Dragon Balls. Eh, they did it somehow. A selfish wish would have been viewed as a damning indictment, and their Majesties would have eliminated all of reality. Oh crap! Okay. Oh, that's why Goku didn't win. Because it had to be somebody else. Because Goku would have wished Frieza back. And you need someone that would bring everybody back. That makes sense. Oh shit! That was a nice conclusion. It felt kind of fast. No, it felt normal. It felt like the perfect conclusion. So short to me. Like I want more. Bora. Bora. Bola. Cause that's the Japanese. Oh. How they pronounce it. <laughs> Pan gave him a fucking <laughs> bump on his head. Never end the Ooh, struggle to push this beyond pretty, all this and we is giving me a DBZ vibe. Until then, we bid you farewell. Ah, there you go. So there you have it. Mm -hmm. The conclusion to Dragon Ball Super. Mm-hmm. It was a nice conclusion. I it was liked a nice it. Ending. It, uh, it was the perfect ending to me, I feel like. And they explained it why it wasn't Goku. Who won? Who won. Yeah. Because they needed someone to make a selfless wish. Yeah. Instead of a selfish one. That's why um they kind of emphasized in this episode when um Frieza was talking to Goku was like yo you're oh, gonna bring me back right yeah and then Goku you know knowing Goku he's gonna yeah he's gonna do it he's gonna course. make that promise like mm -hmm. he made that promise so he'll do it mm -hmm. so if he won that the other universes wouldn't have returned and it's just Frieza yeah that came back to life and that's you know yeah like we've been saying like they're gonna wish everybody, everybody back. back like 
they've been doing this since forever. Mm -hmm. There's no way. That's a lot of characters. Like that, if they just remove them completely, that's a yeah, waste. Yeah, exactly. You know? that, that's a lot of characters that they brought into our lives. Yeah, you know, and that like, they created and they spent time on that they built upon, mm -hmm. and then for them to just be like, okay, yeah, like all these characters are gonna be erased. They're gone now. <laughs> it, you know, it, it it doesn't make sense to end it like that. To end yeah. the series like that. Okay, like you know, these universes are gone by. Mm -hmm. Like, you, it's like you're shoving fans, them out the door. Fans are in, so invested in them that there's no way they're gonna like permanently remove them. Yeah, you know? to have like, they're them, fan favorites, most of them. And to like, it's like to shut the door on them. Yeah. It would make the ending to me feel incomplete. You know, because we've been saying it all along that they're gonna bring them back. They're gonna bring them back. There's no way that they would end it with them not bringing them back. And they did, and I, I'm glad they it was done that way and i'm also glad that they also explained that the xenos would have wiped out all of existence if it was not. basically justifying 17's winning yeah like that was the whole point of that mm -hmm. you know and I'll, I'll take it like because before the explanation like internally i was kind of like why didn't goku win you know mm, but mean, after explanation like okay that makes sense yeah i mean I, I felt it too like why why didn't goku win why was it 17. yeah but at the same time you know thinking about it too it, it was just like i'm i'm also kind of glad it wasn't goku not for the whole frieza thing but it kind of gave somebody else a little bit of a spotlight for a second that's how i felt and then you know again like 17's wish was in a sense, BS to it me. Was kind of, yeah, it was fucking dumb, dude. Because it's like, again, you... I mean, I know you him and Boma you don't aren't need, necessarily close, but You don't still. need an almighty dragon for a fucking cruise ship, bro. Yeah. Like, you know? Exactly. Like, and then... You could just ask a friend of a friend to yeah. do that for you. And I'm sure she'd be happy to because mm -hmm. she's got money to spare. Like, it's nothing. Yeah. I think... My favorite part of this episode was definitely Goku and Frieza tag team. Mm. Like, cause like knowing their history and then how they went about this episode, like it just put a smile on my face as a mm. fan, you know? Mm -hmm. Cause like I said, like the history and then when Goku was going in and out of Super Saiyan, you saw I the felt struggle. the desperation and the struggle mm -hmm. between the two of them. I always enjoy it when like enemies are cornered together and they have to work together the enemy of my the enemy of the enemy of my enemy, enemy is, is my, my friend. friend yeah yeah i always enjoy them and even how they went about it in the beginning like yeah it was hard because mm -hmm. you could you didn't know if you could trust this guy mm -hmm. could trust frieza and then towards the end like yeah you could definitely trust him because he wants something too at the end. Mm -hmm. Like he's he doesn't want to be erased from existence. Mm -hmm. You know? Like I know he struggled with that fact. Mm -hmm. Like here and there. But at the same time it's like when it came down to it, yeah. Like when he knew that this was his only option to essentially survive, yeah, he did put in the work. And I'm I'm glad too, like because I've been saying like they would bring him back. Like I know Goku's gonna fulfill that promise as well to him. We got our answer here how we came back. Yeah. It's because of Whis. Whis and Like, I, I was honestly lost. Like, because if 17's gonna use it on everybody else, like, how the fuck is Frieza coming back? Yeah. Because, like, our Earth Dragon Balls, I'm pretty sure... Can't do that can't anymore. Can't do it because in the Resurrection F, he already brought Frieza back. Mm hmm So, from what I remember from Z, I think if they already brought you back, you, you can't, can't be, be brought wish. back again? Yeah. I don't know, like, you guys are gonna have to correct me on that, you know? Explain it a little bit. Yeah, so, like, Whis bringing um, Frieza back here was like, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. But like I said, like, I knew they would bring him back somehow, because there's no way they would also leave him that way. Mm -hmm. There's no way they would also leave Frieza after everything he's done for this tournament, leave him in that state. So, I'm glad that they also corrected that, or explained it at least. So, out of all the arcs from Super, which one's your favorite? Because there's the Universe 6 versus 7, there's the Goku Black, 
and then there's the tournament of power i mean there's also the resurrection f and the battle of gods but those are the movies mm. so you know those are movies that like the main ones from the series alone are mm. those three because i can't decide i like all of them <laughs> like the rose one had a i didn't really like the ending because zamasu was so in like he turned into like he was so powerful he became like a cloud yeah. and then they needed Zeno to eliminate him so I didn't really like that yeah. I like this ending better huh so I think tournament of power I would say tournament of power because it had that nice conclusion I think for me if I were to choose it would definitely be the tournament of power also mm. just because like like I said, we were so, we got invested with so many characters, as much as some of them got on my nerves here and there, mm -hmm. especially Universe 2, but, um, you know, like, just just seeing a multitude of different characters here and there. Yeah, a diverse group of characters. Um, different strengths, different backgrounds, different histories, you know, different mindsets and everything, like, it just shows, like, kind of, the diversity and how wide this universe really is mm -hmm. so that just what made me appreciate the series a little bit more that's why i want to say that this is my favorite and you know as well as the, the pretty ending yeah you know we got a, a an ending that for a whole series that i i i really liked and i want to say that the goku black arc wasn't my favorite either i think if i had to rank them It'd be Goku Black at the bottom. Yeah, just because of the finale, just because yeah. of how it ended, I thought for the most part everything was even, but the Goku Black arc felt short with its finale. Yeah. You know, because I really liked how um, Universe 6 vs. 7 ended with um, Monaka. Yeah. <laughs> the Monaka thing is funny. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we also with Hit and Goku. I really like that. Yeah. And then like we've been saying, the finale for the Tournament of Power, we was, really like yeah. it. So yeah, it would be Tournament of Power 1, Universe 6 vs. 7, 2, yeah. and then Goku Our, Black. Uh, yeah, it's 3. 3, yeah. Like, don't get us wrong though, there was a lot of like highlights from that arc too. Oh, like, yeah, Vegito, it's, it's just saying Vegito that. Vegito Blue, like the Vegeta on tr and Trunks father and son moments. Mm -hmm. like, there, there was, was a, a lot. lot of highlights. Yeah. It's just as a whole. Yeah. To us, the ending kind of just made it fell short. A Comparing bit. it to six to and seven and Tournament of Power, yeah. Because them, like, even though they had their own highlighted moments within those specific arcs mm -hmm. it was completed in the end to us you know as an ending like their endings were really good that's what made yeah. those arcs more complete for us to like them more than the goku black arc so is it safe to play dokkan battle now since you're done since yeah we're done with the series because that's why i don't play that game because there's like spoilers from this Mm -hmm. from this art term of power now that it's over is it safe to play and is it fun you know that's true if so i'll give it a try for sure because yeah if, if all that was concerning was spoilers and yeah. now that the series is done yeah you know as long as essentially it doesn't have anything from heroes you should be set yeah right speaking of heroes that'll be the next um series for the channel next week mm -hmm. it's in the sub you know so i'm gonna have to get used to it it'll be different you and me but, both yeah because i'm like obviously <sighs> this is all i've heard yeah and i'm pretty sure hearing it in the sub is gonna be different to me as well so yeah. looking um, forward to that yeah but anyways what you guys think of this tournament of power finale and let us know your thoughts in the comments down below i'm danny i'm ray and i'll see you guys in the next video